Hey what guys, it's Fish here, and welcome back to Westeros. So basically, last episode a lot of stuff went down. Uh, Aegon Targaryen, which is supposedly Rhaegar Targaryen's son, invaded um, invaded Westeros, which is kind of cool, but I feel like he kind of glitched out, um, unfortunately, because the event kind of bugged, I think at least, because what happened was Theon was, uh, Theon's dad, Balon uh, Greyjoy, died and left his throne to Theon, but they don't actually own the Iron Islands anymore because they gave it to some Lord Paramount over here. Um, he is of Harlaw D Dynasty and he then inherited all of this when Balin died and Theon only gained this. So he kind of is stuck a little <laughs> to say the least as Theon is not in control of what he should be. Because I'm pretty sure Balin owned all of this territory and they were all loyal to Balin. But for whatever reason it went to the Iron Islands and that war ended and then I feel like it kind of glitched out this war as well. It kind of glitched out the war of Aegon because I'm pretty sure he came over with loads of men and he was supposedly supposed to try and take back King's Landing. Unfortunately it doesn't look like Danny's going to come over like ever unfortunately and she is the last Targaryen and she's getting pretty old like I feel like well, she's 31 and she still hasn't lost Widowed. So, like, I feel like the Targaryen dynasty will die with her, which kind of does suck. It would be kind of cool if she was to carry on the Targaryen dynasty, but, yeah. It doesn't look, look like it's going to carry on anytime soon. So, yeah, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to have children. I feel like my wife isn't going to get pregnant anytime soon, so I am actually going to just straight up try and kill her. I feel like if I will kill her and then I'll marry some fertile... Uh, person straight away and then hopefully she'll bed me some children and maybe I could even get an alliance so I did marry for love but then she stopped giving me children well she, I technically she gave me four children but uh, my my only legitimate child uh, was murdered I'm not quite sure who by uh, but that also reminds me I want to get a better master of whispers so yeah Ramsey Bolton or Ramsey Snow because he's not actually He's not actually legitimised, he is a bastard, will become my new master of whispers because he has, does have a lot higher intrigue skill, which is good, and he also likes me 100, so he is hopefully loyal to me. I mean, pretty much everyone's loyal to Rob, he is so good. Like, he, as soon as he dies, it's going to be a sad day. Hopefully he doesn't die anytime soon, because look how many people just love Rob. Well, I guess he did gain independence for half a realm, and he is a good, good king. I mean, he's got 27 martial and 50 diplomacy. Which, you know, is not bad. And everyone in the court loves me. So I'm not kind of sure who killed my son. I'd love to find out. I mean, I'd wage a war upon them. But, you know, I'll let it slide for now. Hopefully my wife will die soon. And then we will go ahead. She wants to have five children. We'll get freaking pregnant, man. Jeez. I mean, my fertility should be pretty high. I haven't got anything which reduces it, have I? I've got something which increases my fertility. And what does she have? Uh, yeah, she's slothful, which is not great. But yeah, she's got no fertility reducing facts, so... Hopefully I will go ahead and, uh, yeah, gain something, at least. So I've got a few claims over here. I kind of want to claim some of the Iron Islands. I kind of want to claim, like... I really want to get Lannisport because it gives you a load of ships but I don't want to go to war with Theon because obviously Theon fought by my side bravely uh, to gain me independence uh, which was you know very very brave of him and very smart of him because now I will be allied to him and his children if he has any because at the moment he doesn't actually have an heir which is unfortunate uh, but yeah I will be loyal to him and the Greyjoy household. Uh, so yeah, battles after battles, sieges after sieges, my friends must be pretty tired of war, maybe I could help uh, my friends in any way. Oh, so yeah, Theon's just fighting war after war and we get this event popping up, which is kind of cool. My troops could use the exercise, uh, I will join his war. Uh, some gold should help, I'd give him nine golden dragons, which I don't think would be very useful. Or, uh, I'd just say no, I can't come. So yeah, obviously I'll say I will help him, which was kind of funny. We were just talking about him and how I will help him to the very end. So yeah, my troops could use some exercise. So I will join his war? Hmm. 
Oh yeah, here we go. We do have joined. Or is this a separate one? Where are you at the moment? Are you... Yeah, this is against me, actually. Where is this? Over here. So yeah, well, I'll just go ahead and raise the Riverlands men. But yeah, so by the looks of it, it didn't actually ask me to... It didn't actually throw me into this war, unfortunately. Who's part of the war? Oh, but it looks like the Riverlands are just going to clean up this war without me even having to do anything, which is kind of nice that they, they are doing that. But it looks like they're marching onto my lands as well. I'm not quite sure why they're coming towards me. Yeah, I have no idea why they're doing that. Hope maybe we're just going round or something. But yeah, so it didn't actually bring me into his war, uh, Theon's war. Which is kind of sad, I'd like to help Fionn out and help him secure his throne. Because I do actually want him to keep all of this um, at some point. Oh, I might just go, how many men can I raise? I can raise 32,000. I might just straight up do that. Kill this war. Because by the looks of it, they're not doing too good. At the moment, at least. They're actually losing me for war. Because they just don't have a time, any time to reform, unfortunately. But I don't want to raise men because it will raise the men in River Run. But then again, maybe... Maybe he will win this for me, but it's not looking too great. I can raise 4,100 from Grey Water Watch. Oh, yeah, there you go. He's pushing a load of men now. Edmir is doing a good job, and he is, yeah, going to defeat this rebellion, which is nice. For me, he doesn't really have a high martial skill. I'd expect Edmir to... Oh, it's Edmir the second. Oh, is this the right Edmir? Yeah, this is the right Edmir. Yeah, so yeah, this is for, I thought it was like another Edmir or something. So he's pretty, he has beaten them back, and their army is pretty much together now, so hopefully it will just clean up this rebellion for me. Which is very nice. Why hasn't this plot happened yet? I mean, it's got so much plot power. Do I have to, is there like an option to click? No, there isn't. So for whatever reason, that's pretty annoying. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force Rob Snow to train with me. I mean, I might as well. He's mastering the arts of swords. I'm going to keep on doing that. And if he gets really good, then that's awesome. And I will go ahead and legitimise him. And if he dies, then, you know, oh well. But yeah, hopefully that way. Because I don't really care about him too much. I mean, I can legitimise him. So, is this one of... Yeah, this is one of fucking Jon Snow's bastards. One of his many bastards. Uh, so let's go ahead and just send him to someone else to educate. But I'm pretty sure he has a really high martial skill. Um, how old is it? how old is this one? I oh, know this is yeah he's only eight. He actually eight. He should have a little bit better skills than this. Let's go and you can just do it. Why not? Because I don't really care about his bastard children. I don't really want to have to chew to them. It's just kind of annoying. But then I guess because he's in the Night's Watch, he can't really chew to them chew to them himself. So yeah. I, oh, it's just annoying. I want, if they just capture the leader, then the war will be over. And my land can be at peace again. Which is unfortunate. The Iron Throne is chilling. It's got CBs. I assume it's being raided by the Iron Island. Which is unfortunate. Um, here we go. A, brov a Bravosian who claims to be Master of a Blade approaches me and offers to teach uh, me his service. Uh, to this, oh my god, he's going to be a pretty strong commander if I do accept. So yeah, of course I will. What does he gain? He gave the brave trait. I'm pretty sure I wasn't really looking, but I'm pretty sure he gained brave, and which is pretty good. So it pushes his martial up by one, and only cost me ten gold. So oh yeah, the war has been won. We captured him, and now he's just in my prison. By the looks of it, he's got a broken spirit. So poor him. Maybe we can rekindle his spirit. And he can be one of my commanders. But yeah, one of Jon Snow's fucking children has an insanely high marshal for someone... Oh no, I, I am actually tutoring. That's probably why. Because I thought I just sent him to some random dude. Like, he is already a skilled fighter as well, which is pretty impressive. Um, I might actually legitimise one of my sons as well. But I'm not sure. I can actually sell this dude into slavery. I think. But I'd need to have some of the traits. If you're like greedy and stuff, I guess you can break the law. And just straight up do that. Oh, I didn't actually check on what time was when I started recording this. So I guess 
this I'm gonna just keep on going for like in my mind at least another 10 minutes and then I will stop so hopefully we can get some done so approve a plan my wife will hopefully die finally it took a long while for that to actually happen considering we had so much plot power I mean our plot power well, now is 500% so I would kind of assume that it would happen a little bit quicker and I, I really hope it, it does just straight up do straight up just like goes ahead I'd laugh I, I was just gonna say I'd laugh so much um, approve a plan again why not I'd laugh so much if she actually died I mean she she was pregnant and then she died and I didn't realize she was pregnant so yeah she is now dead which is I hate to say it really good did she realize it was me suspicious circumstances so they don't know it's me I'm pretty sure uh for uh, yeah yeah cool yeah cool they don't know they don't know it was me so that was brilliant so let's go ahead and marry some fertile fertile uh woman who was of good age she is really good she is a legitimized bastard but that's no problem she's patient charitable so this person is really good and how old is she she's 16 so i feel like i'm going to go ahead and off do this because she is pretty young so she should be perfect age for childbirth and she has really good traits and she's attractive or she's a genius so hopefully some of my children can gain that ability so we are going to go ahead and send her a marriage proposal and hopefully we'll get some of her children uh, ASAP because I really want to have I really want to have children of my own because I can just straight up legitimize my bastards but I kind of haven't really been paying them much attention like I've kind of just thrown them to the wind and been like yeah I don't care who educates you and stuff like that um yeah of course i want the money hopefully because he's a little paramount he'll give me he only gave me 50 50 gold what a bastard um i will go ahead and hold a wedding feast even though that would i'll banish him as well um I'll, i can either hold a wedding feast which would gravely put me in debt but you know we have to keep up appearances and all so yeah we're now massively in debt which is unfortunate i'm pretty sure we just raised taxes as well oh we didn't raise taxes cool so we want to do that as well uh so yeah let's go ahead and pay for all this lovely stuff to have a good wedding feast um i want to have feudal taxes because then i'll be getting a lot of money in it pretty much means that these both these little paramounts will be paying me and then all these vassals as well will be paying me as well so all the vassals under me so my income should jump up from yeah it jumped up from three well okay it just jumped up from three assuming at the end of a month it will go up so we'll spend lavishly uh, we'll spend enough to make it nice because i don't really have a, i am minus 200 gold obviously i hereby invite everyone to it uh unfortunately i'm kind of skeptical about having a wedding because i don't want to die at my own wedding that would be unfortunate so yeah it jumped up from three to five which is still nice have an extra, extra two gold a month which you know that isn't bad that isn't bad at all so hopefully she beds me some nice children so especially because she's a genius oh, holy crap her diplomacy is 29 that is insane i don't think i've ever seen anyone's diplomacy that high i don't think even little fingers is that high he's here somewhere there you go lord baelish is there i would assume yeah he's a uh, his Diplomacy is only 19, whereas his intrigue and stewardship is crazy. He's actually maimed as well. Uh, I'd like to hire you for the wedding. We'll have a good wedding. He's fashionable. He's got a passion for fashion. Uh, yeah, so we'll welcome everyone to our, our feast. This is a really good thing. If you start off a game with a new character and you have to pick an ambition, one of the best things to do, in my opinion, is to pick the ambition which is um, become exalted among men because then you, if you then just get married straight away after that and hold a wedding feast you get so much prestige and then when you reach that uh, milestone and you reach the number you need to you then get so much um, happiness from all your vassals all your vassals just love you when you become exalted among men it's like plus 20 or something crazy which is yeah which is really good uh fine tradition we just have a bedding ceremony hopefully that makes her pregnant because i kind of want to make her pregnant as soon as possible uh i kind of married up a little bit i kind of married for love in the first place um and then i married for 
alliances and children in the second place. Yeah, there you go. I have 3,000 prestige now. I gained 600 prestige pretty much. Or 560 prestige from just a wedding. Which cost me a lot of money, in all fairness. But there's still a lot of prestige in one go. Which we kind of don't need anymore. Prestige is kind of just sort of chilling there. And now we just kind of have to wait for our money to go down. Because I'm pretty sure we can't even declare war. We can't declare war whilst... Um, oh, we need to attack his lead, obviously. Yeah, because we're, we're bankrupt. So unfortunately, we can't even declare war. Which kind of sucks. And he's defending against the Iron Throne. The Iron Islands. And that's brilliant. My wife's pregnant. Huzzah. So everyone's fighting Theon. That's unfortunate. So the Stormlands are fighting. Is Dawn at war? Dawn isn't at war. But I assume the Lannisters. Yeah, all the Lannisters are. So that's unfortunate that they're losing. I wish I could... Can I offer to join war? I can't even offer to join their war, which really sucks. Maybe it's because I'm bankrupt, I can't offer. Because normally it has like a little thing down here which says offer to join war. I can claim that. Bit of territory there, apparently. Because I'd really like to go ahead and help Theon. Because obviously I'll just levy my 104,000 men. And things would be brilliant. So we got another Bravosian Swordsmaster here. We all got it's only 26 gold, 28 gold. We don't have it. We don't have the money, unfortunately, so we can't. I kind of wanted to because it'd make him really strong when I could use him to lead some of my armies. Especially when he gains a formal education. Because I mean I've got an alright learning skill. I I'm pretty sure the education comes off learning skill, maybe. So when he actually does become of age, we will see what educational skill he gets. So if he gets like a, a decent commander ability, his his marshal would jump from 17 to like 20 something, which is really good for a 16 year old. So who died? Uh, my master of whispers died. How did he die? That's not good. Oh no, he didn't. What? I swear Ramsey was my... He's ugly. Ramsey's not ugly. Leave him alone. He's just misunderstood. I'm not quite sure why, why Ramsey wasn't my... Masters of Whispers. I swear I put him as my Masters of Whisper. My Masters of Whisper. My Master of Whispers. But apparently not. So I'm sowing descent. Oh yeah, I remember. I was sowing descent in Aegon's territory because I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, I wanted to see what was happening with Aegon. But he's kind of just chilling, not really doing much. Oh, there you go. His ha he is still House Targaryen. So for whatever reason, it has changed. Yes, our son. We have a son. Brilliant. And I will protect him. So yeah, um... Aegon is now, yeah, Targaryen, which is cool. He's not Essosian anymore or whatever he was. So hopefully he will try and do some shit. So the Targaryen line will live on if Danny dies because uh, she's still widowed uh, still, yeah, unfortunately. So by the looks of it, Theon did just go ahead and lose his war and has been moved to Lord Paramount of the Westerland. So at least Theon is still alive, uh, which is kind of cool. I wonder if we asked him to swear... Fealty. Oh no, unfortunately we can't ask him to swear fealty. I guess because he's already under another lord. Which kind of sucks. Um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and... Uh, our son is still alive. Thank God. Um, <laughs> should I just imprison him so nothing happens to him? And he can grow up in my prison. I can't quite educate him yet, can I? Apparently I can educate him. Why would... A guardian? Yes, I'll be his guardian. Oh yeah, he has to be at least six years old. I was wondering why it was letting me do it in the first place. So we will go ahead and force Rob to fight at some point when we can. Because why not? And I may even legitimise one of my bastards, I'm not quite sure. But hopefully we do get in, get not indebted very soon. There are a few plots going on, but nothing important. Can we do anything interesting? We can kill our wife and that's about it. So at the moment, I guess it's just kind of full steam ahead, speed things up a little bit, as there is not nothing really to do. At the moment, at least, uh, it's kind of just getting back in money, watching our son grow up. Um, Morgan is now of legal age, and he did he only gained a incompetent commander, which is unfortunate, but if he will go at all, 
will slow things up a little bit. If he is to then go ahead and improve that in combat, he will then just be an insanely good marshal. So uh, Edmir has sent me a marriage proposal. He wants to marry one of my bastards. Yeah, he wants to marry one of my bastards. And she is just bastard. I haven't legitimized her or anything. She's scarred as well to just one of his children, which I'm more than happy to do if that's what he wants. I guess rid of one of my bastards as well. I don't have to deal with her anymore. She she can off, go off and do her own thing. And she is actually in their court now. So it is his responsibility. I don't have... Oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot about the diary I had to pay. I was so close to getting out of debt, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually getting loads of money now as well, which is cool. I was so close to getting out of debt. And then I've just gone ahead and got myself straight back in it. Has Fionn died? Because he is no longer... Oh no, Fionn died under suspicious circumstances. So someone killed Fionn. And his daughter, who I guess he just had, which was kind of lucky, um, now took over. So what we will do is we'll kill her. No, we won't kill her. Um, well, I can take a load of land from her. Well, I can claim King's Landing for... Who are you? Just some random ass person in my in my thing. Um... Oh, I'm so sad that Fionn died. May he forever stay in our hearts. And I will help defend his daughter. I might even offer a marriage to one of my bastards. Um, what, what, what happened? Confusing. So, she then lost... This is all very, very confusing. For some reason, she... His daughter is no longer... In... In control. Did she die or something? I guess she must have died. Um, let's have a look. So let's go to Fionn. And then his daughter. No, his daughter just went off somewhere. For whatever reason. And now Asher is now in command of the Westerlands. So this is obviously Fionn's sister. She is now in control. She does have children to then take under. But then someone else will take over. It all confuses me really. So what I can do is. A famous writer proposes to compose my family chronicles. I can give him some money. Which I don't have. Or I can ignore him. Which would piss off a lot of people. So I guess. Even though Humble would be quite nice to have. I guess we have to give up the money. Because I don't really want to make people dislike me at all. So yeah, even though no, it wouldn't really matter because everyone loves me. Apart from you, why do you not like me? Uh, I'm a foreigner in a foreign religion. What religion is he? Oh, he's drowned gods. Oh yeah, I remember these guys are drowned gods. I think all of them are, actually. Oh no, these are old gods. It's just him. So let's go ahead and convert him, actually. Let's send over one of our... Uh, our priest over there to convert him so yeah basically i'm going to go ahead and end the episode now because i feel like we've been going for at least 20 minutes if not over 20 minutes which is what i kind of try and keep the uh limit to so yeah if you enjoyed this please do go ahead and subscribe and drop a like and share it and just do all them do that lovely stuff that would be awesome i really do appreciate all you guys going over and watching these videos the series is going brilliantly so i'm going to be continuing it and bringing lots of ck2 in the future because you guys have shown it such a good uh, response. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so as I said, all that do, all that lovely stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.